Hi guys, um, welcome so much. Um, welcome everyone uh, to the second uh, Transport of the um, I'm very honoured to be hosting this one again and thank you so much to Andrew and the team for allowing me to do it. Um, we've got a really fun day ahead, amazing speakers and um, I'm just so very, 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 very honoured. Um, just a quick little uh, recap of how the day is going to actually begin. So basically, um, the ways that uh, all of you students can actually contribute to this uh, day is by going down to the Q&A, which is at the bottom of your screen, and typing in a question. And throughout the day, I'm going to be reading the good sort of the questions. And near the end of every speaker's talk, I'm going to do a little Q&A for about five, six minutes. So I'll be lifting def definitely some of, some, of your, some of your questions, and I'll be obviously giving some of my own as well. And um, Basically what it is, make sure uh, when you do write a question, please say where you're from. We've got people from all over the world who are tuned in to watch this, all over Europe, America, and parts of India and the Far East. So please say, hi, I'm so-and-so from this school and I'm from India or whatever. It will really help us um, to say hello to you, give a shout out. Um, I first want to welcome um, Andrew Ola from Ola Inc. Um, that was one of the, uh, he'll tell us, tell you the story about how this actually began. So welcome, Andrew. Good morning. You're live, Andrew. Hello, hello. Morning. Hey, How are you? Good morning. Fine, thank you. All good. Um, hi, hi to everyone um, out there in um, education land. It's nice to be here. It's nice to have you join us. And I'll be very brief, but I want to explain to you um, what is Transformers and what is Transformer Ed. Transformers is a new foundation. The website will be up, we hope, soon. But basically what we are are all people from the industry we are essentially the denim manufacturing industry. We are the fiber people, the yarn people. We represent chemi chemical companies, textiles, garment factories, laundries, and machinery. So historically, what you've heard in the press about different things about the industry from nonprofits might well come from a, brand, a group of retailers or intellectuals and so on. But the, the actual manufacturing end of the industry has never been represented before in the gene business. So that's who we are. And we um, decided that one of the major points of us to exist is to create in, in education. And the education that we want to provide is of course to the industry, but more than that, we also want to provide industry to, to students and consumers so that they can understand the best available environmentally sound fabrics. We want you all to know what are the right things to do to be sustainable in manufacturing genes. Thank you, Mozan. Thank you so, so much. And, um, also, I'd like to also introduce our co-host, Mariette from like HTNK. Um, she'll be with us as well throughout the whole day. And during the, during the Q&A, she'll be jumping in and asking questions as well. So hello, Mariette. Hi, nice to meet you all. Hi. Um, well, I'm uh, one of the partners of uh, Kingpins. Uh, I run a company, HTNK, a fashion recruitment and consultancy. We're going to launch later on in June denim jobs, which might be really useful for older schools as well. It's going to have internships on it from companies from all over the world. Uh, today is about uh, education. I love it. I think, honestly, for all of us, it's going to be lifelong learning anyway. So uh, it's nice because I'm going to be educated uh, uh, and fueled on as well. So uh, and. I'm here representing House of Denim, the foundation which we started 10 years ago in Amsterdam. Uh, we started together with the ROC, the first and only Jean School and Denim City, which is a physical space in Amsterdam where education meets industry uh, and meets consumers. So that's super nice. Um, I would like to start with a small video on House of Denim because I think that's something not all of you know what our background is. So let's do that first. Hi everybody, James here from the House of Denim. I hope you're all safe and healthy and I'd like to take the coming few minutes to tell you a little bit about the House of Denim, where we're coming from and where we're going. We're an independent, not-for-profit, denim-dedicated foundation on a mission towards a brighter blue. We have three pillars of work. One, to advocate the good, two, to collaborate for the better, and three, to educate the best. We're a small team based in Amsterdam, 
supported by an amazing international advisory board. Over the past 10 years, together with our partners, we've organized a number of amazing events. We've set up the world's only gene school dedicated to training a whole new bright blue generation of denim talent and set up our clubhouse, Denim City in the heart of Amsterdam. Following a tradition started by our late mayor, we invite the denim industry leadership to Denim City for breakfast twice a year to talk about the future. As we celebrate 10 years of the House of Denim, we look ahead with two big, bold new projects directly related to the Sustainable Development Goals. Number one is a consumer-facing benchmark to help people buy better jeans based on the five key dimensions of denim and sustainability. Good cotton, intelligent use of water, safe use of chemicals, fair work and wages, and a transparent value chain. Ten Points gives you three stars, easy to see for consumers and a great encouragement for brands trying to make better products. A number of leading mills already produce amazing PCR fabrics, but how might we make post-consumer recycling the norm for our entire industry? Reusing cotton leads to enormous savings in water usage and CO2 emissions. So following an in-depth study of the entire denim value chain and all the hurdles and opportunities for recycling, we launched a new ambitious project called ACDC, a coalition for denim circularity. Supported by the Dutch government, we're on a mission to save a billion gallons of water and make post-consumer recycling the norm for the denim industry. Following recent developments in garment sorting and refibring, we want to increase demand for PCR by establishing new standards. One for 5% PCR blends, the second for 20% PCR blends, and a third one for 40% and higher. Thank you so much, sort of, sort of Marriott, for that. And I'm sure if anyone's got any questions, they can reach out to you per personally, or they can actually reach out also in the in the Q and A as well. So you're going to be yes. with us for the entire entire day. Um, 